What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to my gaming PC buying guide for the upcoming holidays. Uh, I am making this video in mid-November, so by the time you're watching it, the prices have either increased or decreased, so please keep that in mind. Also make sure you guys are checking dealsource.tech because it's going to be crazy packed with deals during the holidays. I'm talking pages and pages of PC hardware that are going on sale. So if you guys want to save some money on tech, make sure you're bookmarking dealsource.tech. I'm going to be giving you guys my personal recommendation for two very powerful budget gaming PCs under $700. Uh, we're going to be doing one for Intel and one for AMD and both these PCs will get you 60 FPS maxed out settings and 1080p for most AAA titles out there. And in fact, I'm actually going to be building one of these PCs and benchmarking it for December and I want you guys to vote using the straw polling below which one of these PCs you want me to build and benchmark and also maybe even do a build guide, the Intel PC or the Ryzen PC. Let me know guys, vote. Alright, so let's kick off the video by looking at the Ryzen build. So I'm going to be going with the Ryzen 3 1200, which is a 3.1 GHz quad-core processor that can easily be overclocked to 3.9 GHz, or if you're lucky enough, a 4 GHz clock speed, just using a stock cooler. The value you get out of the CPU after overclocking is why it's so popular, and that is why I've included it in this build. We don't have to spend any money on the cooler since the stock heatsink is good enough, but we do need a solid motherboard that supports overclocking. Right now the ASRock AB350M has the best value out there for Ryzen that goes for only $60, but I'm actually going to be going with the MSI B350M for only $20 more because this board is much better and more reliable. Based on my experience between these two boards, I've had way more luck with the MSI. The overclocking is more stable, it's more reliable compared to the ASRock, and I think I've built three PCs using the ASRock AB350M, and all three times I've run into problems using that board. Uh, now I'm not saying that the board sucks, I'm sure a lot of people out there have actual positive experiences with ASRock, and for $60 it's actually a really good deal, but... I'd rather spend an extra $20 and get a better motherboard. Oh, and also the MSI B350M supports faster memory speeds. For RAM, I went with 8 gigs rated at 2400 MHz because there will be little to no gain by going with faster rated RAM sticks. 2400 MHz is the sweet spot for Ryzen, and I went with Team Vulcan this time around because of the price and color scheme. DDR4 prices right now are all over the place and currently these are the best ones that fit the budget and color scheme. For storage, we're going with the usual 1TB from WD, however you can add any other type of storage you like. So for example, if you want to add SSDs or an M.2 drive, you are welcome to do that. For the graphics card, I picked up the Zotac GTX 1060 Mini, which is the 6GB variant, and this card will pretty much handle anything you throw at it in max settings in 1080p. When compared to the RX 580, they're actually both neck and neck. Uh, this card isn't that much better, but looking at overall performance, the 1060 does come out on top. It's also the most affordable 1060 available at the time of purchase, coming in at only $240 but I guess it's back up to the original price of $260, which is still the lowest price next to EVGA. Both of these cards are going for $260. The EVGA does have a slightly higher boost clock, and in case they raise the prices of the Zotac 1060 again, I'll leave a link to the EVGA version as well. Powering the build is a 450 watt power supply from EVGA, and the case we are going to use costs only $27, and it also has a clear side panel with four USB ports, two of which are USB 3, and it comes with two fans pre-installed. We got a 120mm fan in the front, and an 80mm rear fan. For $26 in free shipping, this is really hard to beat. The entire build will cost you a little under $650 and it's one of the best budget gaming PCs you can build to achieve 1080p gaming and high settings. This next build is very similar. We're going to be using the same graphics card, the same power supply and storage. However, we're going with a different CPU and the total build is going to cost around $80 more. So we're going with the new i3-8100 quad-core CPU. It is a locked processor with no hyper-threading or turbo clock. However, it does feature four physical cores and clock speed of 3.6 GHz, which should tear through games without a problem. 
it is a locked CPU, which means that we can stick with the stock cooler since we can't overclock anyways. And since this is a Coffee Lake CPU, we do need a Z370 board. And currently the most affordable option is from MSI. It features two PCI by 16 slots. It also has four DIMM slots, M.2 support, and eight USB 3 ports in the back. It has all the essentials for a low-end Z370 board. And in the near future, if you guys ever want to upgrade it to an unlocked CPU and overclock it, you can do that easily with this board. Now for RAM, I'm actually going to be using the G-Skill RipJaws 5 instead of the Patriots because these have a higher clock speed. 3200 MHz compared to 2400 and according to benchmarks everywhere, the i3-8100 shows a noticeable performance increase with faster memory. You can see potentially up to 10% more FPS going with the 3200MHz compared to a 2400MHz rated memory stick. And I'll go ahead and drop a link to this article below if you guys want to see the full benchmarks. Finally, the case we are using is the DIY PC P48 just to change things up a bit. It's a white mid-tower chassis with a closed side panel, but it does feature a front panel USB 3.0 port, and it can support up to three hard drives and two SSDs. The entire build will cost you a little over $700, and as always, I'll leave a link to everything down below. So yeah guys, those are my two personal recommendations for budget builds. In fact, these are the PCs I would build for a friend or relative uh, if they had a budget of around $700. Uh, it's definitely hard to beat. Uh, but let me know guys again vote using the straw polling which one of these PCs you want me to physically build and do a benchmark the Intel or the Ryzen build let me know by clicking that straw poll link and voting as well as in the comment section let me know if you guys want to see a build guide because I haven't done one of those in a long time so I think it'll be a pretty cool package for December again thank you guys so much for watching I love your faces <laughs> I will see you in the next one peace